You know, I have an interest in technology. Oh, I don't. I think that we can do a lot of cool stuff with, like, electronics and machines. You know what? I agree. I think machines are some of the most technology there could be. And you know what? There happens to be a place on the internet where a very special person has figured out how to use machines to make the world better. And the world will be better for everyone. <laughs> create the future with us. Um, with, come create the future with, with, with us. With the here and shot. Number one. So, to hear and shot, if you don't know, is a special little company. Company? I don't know. It might just be a guy. There's an email in the corner. Don't email him. Um, his, he seems to... He, he has grand ideas about how to revolutionize essentially every field of... Not, no, just every field. <laughs> anything there is, anything you could imagine, Dahir and Shot has a technology that will make it better. We're starting here with construction. Dahir and Shot has invented uh, modular buildings. Buildings where you can just get components and just slap them together. You just bolt, all, Wait, bolt them together. Hang on, there's... How do they get the other ones in? Oh, those are windows. Yeah, those okay. are windows. But they had stuff on the bottom, though, so there would still be some wall there, wouldn't there? Uh, well, they're modular. <laughs> you can just put them in. Okay. And it's faster, because they said so. Dahir and Shot invented modular buildings. It's like Legos, but for your house. You can, you can combine them in all these different ways, with all these different central columns. The way all these are built makes it look like the central building, the central, like, concrete pillar, the monolith, is required. It only comes in one size, too. No, it comes in different shapes for all these different configurations, but it only oh, comes- all the same height. Yeah, it comes <laughs> in one height. You have to have this entire height. So, uh, when you're building your building, the entire, uh... Now this one, I don't- I couldn't even understand what they were doing. Yeah, we did not figure out this one. So we- uh, admittedly, we watched these earlier, and we were just having so much fun that we were like, we gotta do this on stream. Because <laughs> it's so, like... It's so bizarre. Like, the longer you watch it, the more things, like, stick out to you as, like, what the fuck? So, over here, you might be wondering, oh, there's, this is just a place that's, like, sorting gravel? And it's like, yeah, that's all this is. It's just gravel sorting. And then unrelated to that... <laughs> yeah, what is, what is happening here? Dude? Okay, I'll be honest, this one almost feels like a prank. This one feels like one of those mobile game ads where it intentionally does something fucked up to make you be like, Whoa! And you watch it. And you share it with your friends. This is Fool's joke or something. Yeah, I genuinely don't know what this one's about. I... Those look like, like, Connect 4 games. <laughs> your boat... Plays industrial strength connect four. <laughs> and then by the way, by the fucking way oh, In the meantime, in between time. <laughs> what if those expanded into more? Oh my god, that'd be so uh, yeah, just fucking yeah, by the way, your boat's in shallow enough water, you can just lift it off the ground for some reason. What does that do? <laughs> Who knows? What is that? Moving do on. <laughs> Moving on, we've got this fucked up truck. I remember this one. This one's, uh... This oh, yeah, this one... This one's, this if one's you've takes got, a while. There's a lot of shapes we gotta get through. Yeah, if you've got a shitty pothole and you don't know how to deal with it, well, you can just remote control this little bitch machine to do it. This is one of those things where, like, I didn't know this was a problem. I, fi I thought that we had potholes figured out. Like, potholes are a big problem in America, but that's more of, like, an embezzlement and, like, lack of funding to infrastructure. Not like, we don't have a cool technology that can just put down an insulating foam pad. Well, <sighs> soundproof the road. <laughs> like, wouldn't it be harder to make asphalt into, like, shapes like this? It probably would be. Like, pre-make your little asphalt shapes and then mush them down and, like, try to glue them or melt them in or something. Like, asphalt is pretty simple. We've got it figured out. You pour it and it sticks. It's like a, it's like a syrup. This one, they gotta cut a big hole. Yeah, they have to cut off the whole road for this one. Which I guess... Well, they, they didn't finish that one. <laughs> <laughs> they gave up. It was too hard. <laughs> too big. 
De here and shot makes is it to I think it's to here and shat actually. I don't know how to the person. It. The, I, I just listened to whatever you said. So the voiceover person. Yeah, and then they have these oh, yeah, weird they've got fucking all these shapes. Cus- it's like, like do, are the do the shapes get cut down, or do they? Does the truck also have to specialty make those shapes? Could this thing exist? I don't see the, the thing about a lot of Dahir and Shot stuff. About half of it, I could believe could exist. It's just bad, and then about yeah. half of it is fucking impossible. <laughs> just, like I'm talking about the thing that like drills in the road. Not at that speed. Like, like, like the one that's just a circle that, like, it just goes down. Not like the drill. It's thing. like you know, you know, when you were a kid. Like these, these things. You know, like, <laughs> you, I'm not sure, honestly. I don't think that could be real. You know, when you were a kid and you had those, um, you would get like a thing that you would m- mash into your grilled cheese. <laughs> This is me flying my kite. Wee! This is my fucking favorite one. It's just like, okay, the Heron Shot has a lot of big plans for public transportation. Like, what? I can't even comprehend why this would exist. So, you know planes... Why is it attached to the ground? Planes go pretty fucking fast, right? You ain't seen nothing yet. First, it's <laughs> gotta shake off the dust. <laughs> He's gotta, gotta get dance. ready. Alright, we're taking off. Bye bye <laughs> Fuck you! It's so fucking fast. I'm, we're just gonna end up reusing jokes from earlier. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reuse <laughs> oh, jokes. Dance. Hey, you know what a G force is? These people do. Fuck you. Good God, just the world's fastest. Like this That's goes faster than most. Th- it has. This goes faster than most things in the world. Like this is one of those ones that's just you can't do it. It's not like it's. It's not just a bad idea. It is impossible. It can't go that fast. And also, building a monorail like this across the entire continental United States or Europe or I don't know where he's planning these to be built. It's just fucking... It's not possible. It cannot be done. No one's gonna... No one's gonna have all this fucking untouched land for you to build across. Oh yeah, they've got corner helipads on that one. Like, what is the point of this thing? By the way, this has a rail on it. Why is it a monorail? Look how stupid it looks next to, like, the real cars. You know how planes are, like, really fast and also can just go anywhere? It's so huge. It's so big. What if instead you had a plane that could only go on a rail? That sounds so dumb. Why would you make that up? You can... This is a cool plane. It goes really fast and also can only go to places where it's had a rail built to. Do you want burger? Do you want burger? Do you want coffee? Yeah, they had burger restaurant. We didn't point it out, but it was burger. I love burger. I love to have a burger. Oh, we're taking off. Everyone put your fucking laptops away or they're gonna go flying. Cover your drinks. This is the fifth station. Uh, been five later! Later. God. Dahir and Shot has such a beautiful vision for the future. <laughs> yeah, imagine these seeing things. imagine seeing Whee! these things. I don't know what that's supposed to represent, because it goes by so fast. So he's done a couple versions of this. And we watched one of them. He didn't specify in the one the first one we watched. These are built into the road. Like Dahir and Shot said, the problem with like traffic well, the problem with the roads is that there's too much goddamn traffic. So first, you just... Yeah, these can... I like how they can just, like, walk over the little car. Sorry, officer. Hope you're not standing in the way. We gotta drive past you. Yeah, what if there was a person there? And also, is someone, like, manually controlling this? Or does it just know? Like, it just knows there's something in the way. It's... I think it has to, like, detect it. Because it's unreasonable to say it wouldn't. But also, like... Firstly, it's built into the road, but also can just freely detach at any time without a problem. How many rows does this have? This has three. Hmm. Oh, there's four. This one has four. Okay. All right. I'm keeping up. This one has four also again. four. This one. Yeah, he has a dedicated segment to demonstrate it can go on all types of roundabouts and intersections. You fucking you you distrust it. By the way, monorail. The hearing shot is kind of obsessed with monorails. I don't like, blame these him. These are gyros- gyroscopes. Yeah, these are gyroscopic. He doesn't mention it in this. It has a big fucking flywheel in it. Dahir and Shot said the problem with gyroscopes was that we just didn't have it on a monorail. 
What is this deal? Like, I kind of get I kind of get it. I want a monorail, too. But this guy is just is a little fucked up. Yeah, the, uh, I like his idea of, you know how we've got, the, you know how we have the problem of, uh, traffic? What if we had another car that went in the middle? This will not cause more traffic. It is impossible. You know how, you know that road in China that has, like, 45 lanes? No traffic there ever. Especially not when you're exiting. When you're going 40. from 45 lanes down to, like, six. 45? That makes me so scared. It's a lot of... It's not 45, but it is quite a lot of lanes. If someone had 45 lanes, I think I would cry. Also, if, this... If I, like, I would be so scared I would accidentally end up there sometime in my life. <laughs> you like, can I'll see, have nightmares about it. You can see this one is, a. Uh, this one's slightly different because it do it's not built into the road. There's just kind of a metal strip that the thing follows. You can just step on it. Like, yeah, th does it, this does, is does gonna... it detect it and then step over? Like, wait, this one can't step over. It only has two legs. Yeah, I don't... So... It, yeah, they've just decided that it's no longer... Tra <laughs> Dahir and Shaj has figured maybe, out that actually that was... it's not a problem anymore. No, maybe th this is the... um. Oh, I guess that would happen. Deploy marshmallows. Yeah, if it ran into a person, after completely fucking destroying them, it would deploy the marshmallows to save the people inside. I like how it doesn't show how crumpled up that car would actually get. Yeah, this this thing probably weighs about a million pounds and would just eat your car for breakfast. I think it would just pew, zoom right through it. Yeah, your car would just be bisected. Like... This is the least insane idea, is putting it, like, in the median. But also that means that, like... You now have to decide which way the median goes. Like, you know how roads have two sides and they go in opposite directions? Yeah. If you put this in the median, it only goes one way now. Yeah. Unless you've got this... Makes, make, I guess it makes a big loop. Unless it's got a suit... Well, it does have this loop. It does have this big loop. Yeah, in case you're trying to leave the city, the hearing shot says, Uh-uh, we, we built this city on rock and roll, and you're not leaving. <laughs> you were... <laughs> You're going to listen to Starship all day. This this has a median on each side. I think. It's got the double median. Well, it had cones. There were some cones there. And yeah, it's they. He still thinks that like waitresses and people are gonna like be walking around on these. A brand new terrifying i a brand new terrifying thing to look out for when you want to change lanes. <laughs> I love how packed he shows traffic, except when it's except when he needs to. What the fuck is? Oh, it's got little thingies. That's useful for something. I don't think we didn't watch all this last time, so it, we didn't see this. Yeah, part. we skipped over a little bit because we had watched the original videos before. I oh, it's to demonstrate you can merge on this. We promise. Okay. There's a driver. Firstly, it yeah. There's clips where it shows the driver. The driver doesn't have a wheel. He has fucking levers like he's in a tank. Hey, this is his Gundam. <laughs> oh, by the way, what if there's a... <laughs> what if all of them... What if there's a fire, but you can't get to it? Your fire trucks are blocked. Thankfully, we've got this dumb fucking thing. We've got the fire pod. I'm imagining, like, like one of those Gundams that you have to, like, submerge yourself and, like... <laughs> you have to become one with the pod. And, like... <laughs> hey, look, there's already firefighters there. Wonder how they got there. They didn't have a pod. Oh, by the way, do you do you know <laughs> propellers? You want a fucking twenty propeller copter? This guy, I think, has some sort of propeller fetish. This guy, I think, is going to save the day. Just fucking chuck. Yeah, give us your balls. Chuck some baseballs in there, and then spray it down with some foam. And then when that doesn't work, we're sorry. We can't save any of your belongings. Get in the tube. <laughs> you think they would save the people first? No, they have their priorities in order. Ah, uh, yes, this one. So these are playing at double speed. I will say, I learned about this through Rets of Prey years ago, and I'm absolutely going to steal some of their jokes. In fact, I'll steal one right now. This is a, this is a, this is a, not a mark, this is a supermarket, a grocery store where you drive around in your car. Here's a joke stolen from Rets of Prey. Uh, you know how when you go to a grocery store and you bump your cart into someone else's and it's not a big deal? Not anymore. <laughs> this is, uh... The idea is you drive your car into this little lane, and then uh, the entire grocery store selection is here in these two milk these also. two rotating columns. Yeah, no refrigeration, or else just magic. 
She's moving so fast. They're so much more efficient in this version. They are. Yeah, when you play it at double <laughs> speed, things tend to go faster. The and Shot has this weird idea that, for some reason, service is going to be the thing that stays around. There's always, like, cashiers and waitresses and servers. I hate, th I hate that one because he got out of his car. The whole point is to not get out of your fucking car. And yeah, he got out of his car just to stand there. It's like, no, the people aren't... The people aren't going to have groceries delivered. The real future is they're going to drive to the store, not get out of their car, but still have to do all of their shopping by hand. And then they're not going to check themselves out in order to speed up the process. No, they're going to... Uh, <laughs> we're going to keep the cashiers. We're just going to make the stalkers be on a different floor so you don't have to look at them. I wish we could live in a world where this could be real. I would like, love. I don't want to like live in the world where this is real. I want to live in the in the world that like where this could happen. Yeah, this is like one of those things where it's yeah, like this one is really good. This one is the most likely to happen. So this one is built. <laughs> this one's built as um, what was it? Drive Mall, I think. Yeah. But they're all grocery stores. So the implication is this is just one big fucking grocery store that you just have to go. You just have to go find yourself a, Stop, a and they cubicle. Close you in. Yeah, they close you in so they you can't people can't see what you're shopping for. Why? No one has to know that I no one has to know I am getting yo play. It's like <laughs> Why? It's, it's, <laughs> why would he want this? It's like one of those things where someone's walking down the street and then they just get grabbed from an alley and like their mouth gets covered up so they can't scream and they're just gone. It's like that, but for your car. Have you ever wanted your car to experience a kidnapping? Hey, what if drive market, but open air? I like this one. You like this one? Yeah. This is what, I will say, they're- This is most modern, I think. The Hear and Shots ideas are kind of like, if you said to me, oh yeah, somewhere like in fucking Dubai or Istanbul, they've got uh, this one weird drive market where you stay in your car I'd be like, okay, that's just a one-off thing. That's weird. But, like, it's not... <laughs> none of this. None of the, his ideas are, like... He needed so many meats, also. None of his ideas are... This is something that's going to catch on anywhere. This is, like, some startup billionaire doesn't know what it's like to go grocery shopping, but thinks that he can make money off of it. We need a shot of those kids. Very important. And then another one. Look how tall they are. And also Comfort Shoes. Comfort Shoes is the funniest one. Like, Dunkin' Donuts in the background. Dunkin' Donuts spotted. <laughs> he will just use... I love use... how tall it is. I love to hear in shot will just throw in brands sometimes. Like, he'll make up his own brands, and then also he will sometimes just use a real one. Just for yeah, familiarity. why are these people here? Are they here to make sure people don't steal? It seems like he just, you could just take them. It, well, no, that's why the attendants are there. To prevent you from stealing. <laughs> so, you want to go to the world's tallest shoe kiosk? I do want to. Taller I'm buying into this world. You're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I brought you here to indoctrinate you onto the beauty of the here and shot. <laughs> Oh, I hate this one. This one? Which one was this one? That one's the build. Just, just... This one's got a... He's got a few where he just talks about how he designed cities. I think this one is the tubes. Oh, yes! I love the tubes! <laughs> I love that you started with, I hate this one. Until you remembered it was the tubes. Yeah, I did remember it was the tubes. First off, this is what a mall could look like. Have you ever wanted a mall to Also, I, like like I don't hate any of them. I hate... I hate knowing that we can't have them. You... <laughs> You're, I'm gonna hold you to that because you're gonna take that back, and I know you will. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is this idea is the underground uh, shipping center where your stuff just gets sent through tubes underground. <laughs> Finally, someone has come up with a way to solve the problem of shipping because we haven't figured out how to do that yet. How do we how do we get a package from one place to the next? Just send fucking food. I suppose that's to demonstrate it's so fast you can send food and it'll get there still hot. And they have roses. You know how it is with roses. This whole- I do like the interlocking lid bins, because I've seen these in real life. Uh, yeah, I, those are my kind of favorite type of bin, I think. 
I don't want to say that. I might have another Ben I like more. It, it's, <laughs> it's the funny. You're not joking. This, you, <laughs> you have thought long and hard about what types of bins you like most. You're a bin freak. Osama it's, Bin Laden. <laughs> it's nice to put things in containers, man. Container lover. That's what they call me. Yeah, you should. You, you work in computer science. Oh. It had to fucking set that aside for a second so it could do a more important bin. How many packages are they getting delivered at once? Well, to hear and shot imagine the world where sending a package is so easy, you just do it. It's like sending a text message. You just do it all the time. It's like door dashing. Everyone just goes and access. Yeah, to hear and shot. God, I fucking love that it's in your house. Yeah, to hear and shot just kind of like, yeah, you're going to receive packages so often, it's going to be built into your home. Perhaps the reason this hasn't caught on as an idea is because people don't receive packages every five minutes. Except for this person. <laughs> I hate this one. Because, like, what kind of... This woman keeps receiving gifts. Bad there's news. So more many, fucking flowers. There's so many flowers. She's about to drown in her own home for the fucking chlorophyll in there. Who... That room has the freshest air. In the world. I guess it's supposed to be, like, one of his apartment buildings, and so that's why there's so many packages. And then it sends it back. <laughs> Do you hear in shot? Is there no audio? There's no audio. Or maybe there is audio. There probably is, it's just... Yeah, hold on, let me turn off studio mode. Is it really not capturing audio? Huh, that's weird. Oh, well, it's like, the audio wasn't that important. Okay, there we go. It okay. should be capturing it now. Doesn't matter, it's not like the audio- Yeah, this- this video- I'm glad I fixed that before we get to the ones with narration, but... Yeah, this one just has dinky little music. Probably all, you know... It's all copyright-free music. Yeah. Well, not copyright-free, it's stock music. Yeah. But, yeah, the hearing shot is, uh... Oh yeah, this one's, uh, what if you had a- what if you had a big greenhouse? The tallest ever. Brand new invention. Look, they're all, like, in shadow, also. Brand new invention. Hydroponics, but tall. And there's a million of them! You'd have to make them in, like, a pyramid shape. Oh, <laughs> this one. This was the one I was thinking of. This is, uh... This one's a classic. It's how a lot of people were first introduced to Dahir and Shot. It's the D the Dahir restaurant. What if you went to a firstly, it wastes a bunch of fucking time by just showing off like, hey, what if uh what if your restaurant was really fucking big? What if your restaurant was too large? What if your restaurant was impossible to navigate? This is like the Cheesecake Factory. You ever been to a Cheesecake Factory? They're fucking huge. They are quite large, but th they're maybe like a third of the size of this. But also, like, it's not all, like, open air. You know what matters most in restaurant design is table density. I wish that the tables were closer together. I want to eavesdrop. Look at the fucking nests of tables. Look at this! <laughs> <laughs> this one, this, like, the chairs are packed so tightly. This is like if the and Shot was playing a video game where it graded you on the number of tables you had, but not on their proximity. He, he's trying to min-max. Anyway, here's some quick little- here's some porn for people who like Factorio. How do they know? What? Oh yeah, how Wheels. do- Wheels. <laughs> yeah, that- <they>, Sorry. <laughs> it's just- there's <laughs> a lot know? missing here. So this is this is a restaurant where you order food and then it gets delivered to you through the system. Also, the cooking is automated and the cleaning is automated. We don't see the cooking or the cleaning. We just see the conveyor belts and then the food get delivered. It just come, it just descends from the ceiling. There's so much more we could talk about, but because it's at double speed, we we don't have time to express all of our thoughts because it's just so like. It's so bizarre, like... There's so many bad ideas that come so, so quickly. There's so much missing from the whole process. How... <laughs> fast she was walking. Yeah, this... Something that the and Shot doesn't point out as much as he should is that basically every, like, specialty building he has, the Drive Market and the Dahir Restaurant, 
requires three stories each. So if you want to build a restaurant, you're not it just... It needs to be fucking giant. You have to build this giant custom building that's million... That costs hundreds of millions of dollars in, like, manufacturing. And, like, the equipment it takes to do all of this. And all of the conveyor belts, all of the machines. Not even touching on what goes into the cooking. You might have to watch another one of those. So we can properly discuss it, because... It goes so fast. Hey, you know what's a problem that we haven't solved? You know what's a problem that... Hold on, what the fuck? I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice last time we watched this. Hey, my cat made a noise. I'll... Anyway, a problem that we haven't <laughs> solved is uh, uh, building roads. We don't know how to do that yet. We've yet to figure that out. Thankfully, the hearing shot is here. Here it is. Oh, fuck. It wasn't on screen long enough. I need to point it out because it's so ridiculous. Look on top of this thing. On top, there's just some people sitting at a table <laughs> eating. What, what are they doing? What the fuck? You're just having lunch? What are you doing out here? And then this guy's just standing around bored looking at the dumb machines like, well, I guess they're doing all the work. I don't know why I'm here. Those are, um, they're supposed to be guarding the machines from thieves. So, yeah, we finally have a, a machine which can build a road. You what know, is it using to pick those up? Uh, like suction cups or something? You know, I don't think that Dahir and Shah thought about it. Because <laughs> it looks like magnets. It does. Maybe, they, maybe they're just embedding giant magnetic beams into all of these plates. And they're just under the road forever. I mean, you just have to put magnets in there. I don't think that... Would having magnets in the road be, like, dangerous? Um... I don't know. That's an interesting question that I'm sure to hear and shot did not think about. <laughs> to hear and shot would just say, yeah, let's put magnets in the road. This would be good. So you still have to do this part. Yeah. So the road process has not changed all that much. The main change is that the, the, the base layer of concrete is done using puzzle pieces. And, and this guy on the computer. Yeah, and this guy in his big fucking calculator. <laughs> sitting under his umbrella, living the life. I wish I was living that life. And then we don't know what the saw does. I love the saw. What <laughs> does it do? Why does he have to just cut regular divots into it? Why? Yeah, why is he cutting it into pieces? It is his last resort. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because I find these videos suffocating. <laughs> no breathing. We finally discovered how to make computers put together puzzles. And you can... The thing about Dahir and Shad is he is, he is not that strongly tied to some of his ideas. Where he's like, you know what? I came up with this idea where you can put these puzzle pieces together like this. But uh, I came up with a different design. So uh, just so you know, you can do this in several ways. Just so you know, we can have lots of different puzzle pieces. Yeah, it just kind of... So if you change the puzzle piece idea, you're still stealing my idea. Change the puzzle pieces. Yeah, it's not entirely clear what his goals are. That shot made it look like there's a like a time limit. Like they're <laughs> like, look, this about thing. To have a showdown. Like this thing's coming. You better move. <laughs> Did you know? Once a road is built, you can drive on it. Crazy. You can and go you both can go, ways. Yeah, you can do both ways too. Your car go either direction. Number ten. To here and shot. Oh, I hate- oh, this one's the worst. So this one, you might not know what it is at first, because we didn't. I thought that it was a fucked up staple remover. It looks like a duck to me. It's so- it's a weird thing. And then- oh, no. This is di what the fuck is it doing? It's going in, baby. This is, uh, this is for dental work. This is- this is a device de in designed by Dahir and Shot that drills into your mouth. It makes it really- Put that Dahir really and Shot logo on there. scary. If I went to a dentist and they had a briefcase that was labeled to here and shot, I would ask politely to leave. <laughs> I would. I, I don't. I, I would get out. Get out while I was still alive. The computer. Oh, the computer can detect they, it. They they really made it look as scary as fucking possible. To yeah, me. we. I apologize for anyone watching this that you have to watch this. Um, because this is not what you want out of life. This is not good. This is bad. In fact. This is yucky. Just... Jesus. Really get in there. The only way I'm able to watch this is convincing myself the tooth is like... 
fate, which it is. 100%. 100%. This tooth obliterated. 100% tooth destroyed. Is that another? Here's an alternative that does some cool six axis shit. It's crazy. How does that? This guy's wiggling uncomfortably. He's. So, I think the idea here is that the person, like, taps out the path. And then the drill, which firstly, it probably feels super nice to just have a drill just jabbing you in the tooth a bunch. And then after doing the path, the computer will do it for you. And the person just watches and is like, damn, I don't have to do work anymore. Finally, the hearing shot has made it so that dentistry can be done automatically. Not really. You still have to have a person there, but... um. Oh god, no! So you have blood, we sh right? We shouldn't let Dahir and Shah around medicine. So you have a blood, but it's got cholesterol. Thankfully, you, ha you have a blood. Dahir and Shah will block your blood flow in order to drill through the cholesterol. This provides... <laughs> this, this creates value and reduces cost. It's more efficient. You don't need your blood all moving around in there. I can't wait for like. You have to be I able. To, you have to be able to go through it, so it can't be that bad. I can't wait for us to get to one of the ones with narration, because he's going to say this helps reduce cost, and it's like every time I always think, yeah, you can say that. <laughs> it's very easy to say you can reduce cost and that this is better for customers, but like, I love this dramatic music. It's like we got to go in and destroy this cholesterol. For this to work, the cholesterol has to not block your bloodstream so that the tube can go through it, and then the tube will block your bloodstream <laughs> for minutes at a time. In both ways. Yeah, no like no fucking one. blood getting through. This one seems like it would be, like, I don't know. I don't like the close-up. You don't like cholesterol? No, it looks yucky in my eyes. Well... It's in your blood right now. This is this is this thing is in your blood right now. Oh god, get it out. If you listen if you put your wrist up to your uh ear, you can hear <laughs> Goodbye cholesterol. You're gone. This thing's just fucking going crazy. Spinning at high speeds destroy your They couldn't make this. Hey. Oh, really? Hey. <laughs> what is, they is that, make this. Is this the first time you've noticed that, in fact, perhaps to hear and shot is coming up with an idea that can't happen? <laughs> hey, they can't, they can't do this one. This one, I feel like I saw this on, like, Tumblr. I saw people posting something like this that was by to hear and shot, where it was like, oh, you, you fell for, like, an extremely basic scam of someone comes up with a thing that can't exist and patents it so that investors will waste a bunch of money. Bunch of people, <laughs> the, the event, come to the stadium and watch these houses be built. <laughs> this house is camouflage, you can't see it, even it's, though it, it's camouflage it for a different sucks. biome. It sucks. I wouldn't want a camo house. You know, I something- I brick to folding. Uh, something tells me that's not real brick if it's doing that. That might be fake. You think that's real camo? Is that a gun? On top of the fucking roof? Holy shit, I think that might be a gun. It might be a telescope or something. I don't know, honestly. Ooh, fan the fancy house. Pulled out house. I mean, they're camouflaged. This might be a military thing. That might be the point. This might be like, hey, your military can build, like, little bases. Oh, in that case, we should let Dahir and Shad go ahead and do that. Yeah, we should actually- yeah. <laughs> I would love if, the if Dahir and Shad started producing things for the military and- just all wars end because everyone's equipment is so shit. <laughs> Hero of our times. <laughs> <laughs> Thus saving the world. Yeah, you know, um... We, yeah, is that a gun? We can- we produce millions of dollars of technology specifically for the purpose of producing houses that are shittier than mobile homes. All these hydraulics and... Like... Like, this is one of the- this is- Like, the floor it folds up. There's no way it can be that sturdy to stand on. Well, Dahiran Shot uses technology known as animation, in which you can do things that can't really happen. <laughs> it's like, just Dahiran surely, Like, surely the floor would, like, you- would, like, buckle. Yeah. Oh, classic. 
I saw this one on the news as a kid. I've seen this in like on TV. Why? Why was it on the news? It was on like Fox News. I'm pretty sure. Why? <laughs> if there's an earthquake in your area, your bed will eat you. But well, you have supplies, so don't worry. The bed is the bed gets scared and consumes you. Calm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Fuck you. You're in, you're in hell now. This one doesn't even cover you all the way. So yeah, it's got um, it's got a cool survival kit in there. Very important stuff you need to survive. Problem is, is that it puts a mattress there. This person probably has no room to move his arms. The best ones are probably the ones where it covers you, even though they're still violent as shit. But like the ones where it just drops you and slams a lid on you, horrific. Like instantly, you're instantly trapped in there. They, they there's sh- no way to like open it up either. And they show in the original video, there's a thing where you, uh, if something's on the edge that would obscure the lid, it won't close. So if your pillow is a little loose and there's an earthquake, you know how things will like move around in an earthquake and not be where they originally were. You know how sometimes you'll stick your leg off the edge of the bed. You know how sometimes your pillow, uh, moves. You know how sometimes you have a blanket that goes off the bed. <laughs> Yeah, you're fucked. You spent $5,000 on an earthquake bed and it doesn't even get to eat you. <laughs> That's their life's purpose. You would deny them? Hey, what if a monorail happened? The Heron Shot is obsessed with monorails. And I this monorail man. This monorail is absurd fast. It goes 500 kilometers an hour, which is approximately 20 miles an hour. How much is that actually? I don't know. It's man. like 5 eighths of to- a mile an hour. Yes. Um, hold on, let me do math on this. What is this music? Hold on. Fuck. What's 5 eighths of 500? It's 2500 divided by 8. It's like... I don't know, man. I can't do math. (laughs) shapes it's like 300 miles an hour i think yeah it comes in it comes in different flavors it comes in purple because remember the I, there's no this technology doesn't really rely on like aerodynamics or how your thing is shaped the technology is actually i don't know what the technology is we watched this original video and he doesn't really explain what's new other than just this is a monorail that goes fast yeah, I don't know how it's powered. Is it like... I don't think it's magnets or anything. Oh, I think he said there was an electric engine. <laughs> he made some point like about how... pounds or something. He made some point about how this is a... Uh, building these is cheaper than building a magnetic train uh, segments. Building, like, magnetic train railways. How does he know how much it'll cost? There's no way he did research on that. Even assuming that was true, magnetic trains are not that common. <laughs> Most trains are just, like, trains. They go on a rail. Oh, and this is another one. Of this modular fucking things. Your buildings can be- You know, technically buildings are already modular because they're built using, like, planks. But, uh, what if it was more modular? What if everything was modular? How big is this factory? The Hearing Shot doesn't ever really think about scale. Like, there's no, uh... Wait, like, what is this? They're just going back in the boxes. Oh, they've shaved off the edges for some okay. reason. Why? Even though we've got these pre-built segments of concrete, we also have these fucking giant concrete mixers to add new concrete to the concrete. Man, I want to, like, design a fantasy world based on Dahir and Shad's invention. Where everything sucks and nothing works. Where it, All like, your buildings collapse. Where going to the grocery store is really annoying, and you you die of inhaling exhaust fumes. I like his- I like it. Whoa, it's so big. Yeah, I don't know what's actually happening here. Yeah, what is Is this, this a factory for producing? I think this is for producing the, uh, pre-made bits. Here's some water to make your concrete dry faster. What? That's not very big. Little did you know. Their sense of scale is fucked up. It was actually very big. Oh. I see. I... Yeah, let me just go in the fucking... These look like storage units. 
Yeah, what is going on here? We just yeah, we didn't watch this far in the video earlier. So uh I don't know what's happening. Is this also just for the modular bits where it's just uh This is, is this, how we ship them out? Is this them Okay. Looks like what is, so you're telling me that all of these individual things have like actuators and motors in them? That's immensely wasteful. That's so expensive. We have to custom design all of these little shitty trays to have motors in them for no reason. There's, why? A, there's a reason why most machinery in factories is like still. And it's because one, that makes it easier to repair. And two, producing products usually uh, is bad if part of the production process requires wrapping the product in technology. That's very expensive. Because if you want to scale, if you want to scale a factory up, there's a few ways you can do it. If you want to scale this up, you have to buy about a thousand more of these shitty little trays that have motors in them to open up. I can't. Even, I don't even know what's happening. Yeah, that's why I'm just commenting on every what I'm seeing because I can't parse what is what is the production here. What are they making? I want to like have an adventure in here. I don't. This <laughs> these this machinery is not safe. This there's no fucking. There's no lockout, tag out type shit going on. Well, that wouldn't look pretty. True. We've just got loose machines and they're all just moving around on their own. No one overseeing it, no safety lines. You can just well, walk around in here. The machines can take care of it. Oh yeah, the machines are smart. They'll, they won't kill you. I don't trust the hearing shot to not kill me. I know, he met to that cool blood thing. <laughs> that cool blood thing. <laughs> Look at they have look at they have specially made trucks too. Yeah, they had they these are skinny trucks. Special made skinny trucks to carry these. Those are kind of weird looking trucks. Maybe they're just extremely tall. Maybe. Man. That's the brand of truck they are. Man. Z. Or is that a Z? I can't tell. I don't know. Something weird about the Hearing Shot's rendering is that, um, that anisotropic filtering is really bad. Stuff gets super blurry far away. No, what is... No, what is this? Uh, this is how you get uh, nauseated, is by, uh, spinning the camera around like that. Give me a headache. What? Oh, good. We make the... We make all the sticks get together, and then we take them apart. Yeah, separate them. Wait, why are they doing that? This is, uh, this is the factory. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, is this for building modular wooden slats? Yes. That can be that can they get puzzled so that you can puzzle them together. I think this guy should stay away from healthcare. I think he should just like animate videos like this. Yeah, he's it's not bad at making like factory stuff. Like what he should do is like He should just maybe he should like try to make like a Rube Goldberg machine. He should work with the people who do how it's made, but do animation for stuff they can't film, or like. Well, I think he. I think he would be like, "Well, I mean, this is what it is, but I can make it better." Yeah, have one of these giant machines. It's just got a yellow line around it because it's one of the most dangerous things in the world. It just spins around fast enough to break every bone in your body. Yeah, like they don't. They don't have like a railing around there. Imagine how loud it would be in here. Yeah, they play all this peaceful music, but you know that in here, it's like... It's gotta be like, you can't walk in here without ear protection, or you immediately develop tinnitus. I have tinnitus, mind you, from being in a factory environment. And, uh... You... they Depending on the... Is that what it's the, from? What now? Is that what it's from? It's part of it. That's a major part of it, is... Yeah. I would... I used to work in a fa I worked in a factory for a few months and whenever I would go home I would like lay down in bed and it would be silent and then I'd realize that my ears were ringing so loud that like if there wasn't like an air conditioner running in the same room I could hear it and yeah that this this is oh I I, I also have tinnitus but it's- I don't usually get it that bad. My, uh... Yeah, I can- I can- this is one of those places where hearing protection has to be, like, 
There has to be signs outside that you can't go in without wearing hearing protection. Like, I worked in a place where hearing protection was pretty, uh... They had, they had a pretty devil-may-care attitude about hearing protection. Like, earplugs were there, but nobody really wore them. And it was, uh... Oh yeah, you can build this. You can build these shitty wooden slats. There's a reason they don't normally just put, like, wood on the outside of houses anymore. It's because wood... Uh, wood rots really badly in rain. Oh. They they we we uh we do that's why it's usually better to do like some sort of stone or perhaps uh like some people do vinyl siding if they're partial to that. What? You don't really see wood on the outside of houses anymore, unless it's got like some sort of finish on it. Oh, if well if it's you can magic. just if you can just do that. Yeah, easy. Ooh, I don't want to be in here. Yeah, this, Get me out of here. This is not a safe building. <laughs> I don't trust the hearing shot to, well, to do anything, there really. concrete? So there's concrete in every layer. Did the house just wiggle? Did that building just kind of shimmy? Did the music just turn off? Yeah, it did. Oh, that's the end of the video. Okay. God, I'm so scared of that place. It's like a parking garage. You know how it feels like, like you can feel the weight of the cars on you? Well, autoplay is on, so let's start watching this one. Hey, you remember when you saw a gun? On that building. Yeah. The hearing shot also does military designs. Oh, well, <laughs> good. You, did you like that penis gun there? Wait, what? There's look, look at that, look at that. Do you see it? No. Penis. On the, the what? <laughs> Below the two like black guns. The thing that's talking, the wop wop. Oh. That's straight up penor right there. What the. Freak? They put they put a cock on this talk. Okay, he's doing six stunts. You're so cool. Hey, <laughs> by the way, make notice of the screen. That this guy's. The government would buy this. Make notice of the whenever there's a good angle on it. Make note of the screen, because this thing has some a few cameras on it. I'm just doing yeah yeah <laughs> yeah. You know how you can just look at eleven screens at the same time and not get like confused or overwhelmed. And not like vomit everywhere. Fuck you that traffic. You knocked over one of the cones. You you fa you have failed training, and then they a forklift comes in and picks this things up, and carries this it things. carries it into lava. I would love that. Why did he animate the cone falling over? What was the point of that, other than to make it look like this operator sucks dick? Goodbye. <laughs> Okay. It can do sick tricks too. Holy Yo, shit! Yo, he knows he knows stunts. He learned the wheelie. Oh man, he's so cool. He can stand up on his own. I can make it on my own. Baby's first steps. No, note that he didn't. <laughs> note that he didn't go over that little barrier. He just used it to do a trick because he can't go over it. You know this place is, sucks because they have an old blue school bus. You know this place is sucks because it's just covered in, like, a mist. The fuck? You know how when you're a military, you'll just leave a tank somewhere? Just ready to shoot? Fuck Yo. you. <laughs> Hell yeah! Get dead! Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I just love. When I don't our know nation, what he's shooting at. I love when our nation's soldiers fall down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a blood idiot. Oh man, I'm in trouble. If only there was a shitty little vehicle that could come save me. I hope the military buys his inventions. Gentlemen, deploy the dumb thing. Deploy the bullshit. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> Run, get to your stations. Man. Can I want some, like, fried rice right now? I always want fried rice. Is this is this making you want fried rice? Yes. Well, no. Remember. <laughs> no one gets left behind. We now deploy our shitty little tanks. Did you know? Um. I hate... How these things look. They're, they look so like... They look kind of cute, honestly. <laughs> mm 
these they they've look got like cameras. Cute for a tank, you know. The hearing shot figured out how to render multiple cameras on the same screen. They also look kind of like Lego. They aren't, uh, like threatening at all. You will not shoot at me. Die. Ear! Oh good, they can predict the future and they saw that guy. Get fucked. Oh, they have their own dumb thing. Whoa. Not as good as the hearing shot! I hate- yes. I hate fences! I hate cars! <laughs> Fuck this cars! Ugh. Yes! Yes! Yeah, yeah, I believe this thing could take down a tank. Several times larger than it. It could just do that. I think it could. It's just, it can just do that with its extremely, like... The s smaller than a hand grenade size explosives. Oh, you fucked up. You revealed yourself. You revealed yourself to the thing. What are you gonna do? Shoot this thing? It's made of invincible. <laughs> can't hurt It's can't our specialist it. guy in the world. It's okay, this guy has a rocket launcher. Oh, he's real good, shitty. Good at thing it. he didn't hit it, or else. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Just, just watching. It's like Dahir. watching someone animate their f own fanfiction. I was about to say, Dahir and Shot has a little war fantasy where his cool little toys save the day. It's it, this. This is like Marvel fanfiction to me. Someone they would have in a Marvel movie. This is uh this is the future of warfare. This is this is what um this is what all technology is gonna be like. This is what war is gonna be like. It's fucked up, if you think about it. We're getting a glimpse into warfare. We're getting a glimpse into the future. But war never changes. Real. Oh no, here come tanks. Good thing that <laughs> Good thing we got blow them up. This is this is this is a problem with this is that for them to advertise this properly, it has to require the enemy to be like incompetent. The only shots the enemies get off are bullets, and this thing is just they've decided it's immune to bullets. Oh, Whoa. and this guy can also like see the future. Wait, <gasps> he's religious. That guy was waiting. He's 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 not gonna commit a war crime and like actually it's not a war crime to shoot someone who's not shooting, I guess, if they already have shot at you. Blow him up. Is it are they really gonna take down a helicopter with these things? I don't know why you think that's in question. Are they serious? Oh, one of them got blowed up. But it's okay. The helicopter only got one shot off, and the things are so cool they can just do that. Oh, there's a second helicopter? Oh, yeah, we're just gonna take second, it down. <laughs> second helicopter? Has a, a second helicopter has hit the Dahir and Shot Trade Center. <laughs> I think he just. Dude, go work for Marvel movies. <laughs> His animation isn't, like, bad. Which I assume a lot of this probably comes from stock animations. Like, I assume he didn't model that helicopter himself. That probably was purchased from somewhere and it came with some animations for it. But someone had to model these things. True, he's... Which, I mean, it looks like ass, but... But, like, they did model... <laughs> <laughs> Is that a built-in feature? That might be a feature. Actually, it like it's self-destruct, so enemies can't use our technology. I can tell there's like oh, it's got heat seeking. I can tell there's some innocent civilians in there to just to, to kill. <laughs> Silent communication where they're like, oh hey. They should have them nod at each other. What was the point of that? I fucking hate bricks. All right, whatever. Let's put some fucking tear gas in there. I don't know where the line is on war crimes with biological warfare agents, but, um... Oh, our best friend. <laughs> Self-deploying self gurney. Put yourself on it, idiot. Get on. 
Dumbass. Uh, I'm sleepy. It's okay. <laughs> Get in the box, idiot. He's safe now. We we gave you a little coffin so that your body will be protected once this thing gets blown up. They really think this thing's gonna survive? They did all they did all that to save that one guy. Well, also to cause all these guys to become sickly. They did all this to cause mesothelioma. This just makes you think that the army is really beautiful. Also a plane. Are you gonna kill that plane too? Yeah, there's a drone. It's dangerous. You have to blow it up. You have to blow it up. There's no other way. This fucking music. Oh no, there's a tank. But there's two tanks. And as we know, tanks will just- tanks are kind of like, uh... It's, it's like enemy spawns in a video game. They're always gonna be somewhere and they're just kind of waiting for you to show up. What? Yeah, this thing apparently has just a bunch of different things it can do. It can shoot rockets and bullets and also has several different types of gas. Is someone controlling these? Yeah, the, we saw the guy with the 11 screens. There's one for each of these little shitters. Because you know how one guy can manage 11 screens and also all of the weapons technology. <laughs> your tanks are Two too shots. slow. Two shots to blow up a tank. Yeah, your tanks are too slow. I've got better explosives. I guess it would appeal to like military investors the idea that this thing can just blow shit up and uh, all of our enemies are incompetent and can't shoot straight. That what is the he, fantasy. What if he actually managed to, like, sell this idea? Welcome home, brother. Again, war would just end. I think we're almost close enough to them being stupid enough to believe it, so... Yeah. We'll get there. It's a beautiful... day. No, don't show me this. This is... This is not to hear and shot. Fuck you. Hold on, let me take this off screen, because I don't know what I'm about to get in the shitty recommended... This is the here and shot, right? I'm pretty sure this is the here and shot. Maybe this is an offshoot? Okay, this is like, um... I think what we just saw was uploaded to a different channel, but I'm almost certain that that is a the here and shot, like, thing. Yeah, because it's animated exactly the same, and I can see some videos of... Yeah. Anywho. Uh, what is that house? This one? Yeah. I don't know if this one might suck because of how it's not 3D, but... They're an English version? There might be. The Hearing Shot normally does do, like, multi-language... several languages. Flying trains in hot countries. That's... wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, firstly, that's 16 seconds long. He has several uploads of the whole flying trains thing. The one where it's a plane that's... Like a kite? Yeah. I d didn't think hot countries were part of it. Well, the countries have to be hot. Let's watch this dumb thing. Well, that's only a minute long. I'm sure there's a longer version. Hold on. Um. Ooh, do the, do the boat one. See if there's any more information on that. Method of... In instrumental Modern love. <laughs> in the moonlight. So this is called meth method of instrumental enrichment of metal containing ores. So this is apparently for like mining operations. I but hope like, this is, this it's the same video. Yeah, let me let's skim through here. Yeah, this is the most replayed segment where just the fucking giant wind turbines show up, and then it also just kind of props the boat up off the bottom of the seafloor. Wait, so this- is there- was there no- is there no fucking explanation for this? I- This is incredibly stupid and inefficient. That's a good <laughs> comment. That's funny. So, okay, let me- yeah, let's find some of the longer ones that have, like, uh, narration. Or at the very least, let's find some of the longer ones. 
That one's 12 minutes. This one's fucking good. I've, I've seen this one, and it is absolutely worth the price of admission. Fresh fruit truck. You want fresh fruits? Well, why is he driving there? The Hearing Shot has figured out how to prop up a fresh fruit stand in the middle of nowhere. Now you too can sell fresh okay, fruits. Sure. Oh no, there's a military base. Are they hungry for fresh fruits? I like to imagine it's him, like, making these videos. I, I, it has to be. Who the fuck... How much... Does, does he, like, is he independently wealthy and he, like, pays someone to make all this? Maybe. Because it, it's, like, not shitty. Yeah, the production it value... professionally done. Yeah, like, this is as... Like, I think it has to be a team behind it. Yeah, this is as well produced as any, like, investor scam could be. Hey, it's me. I'm Fresh Fruits. Fresh Fruits is my name. Oh, it's got these little things that Tahir and Shot loves to put on everything? ba -doom! Well, it wasn't Fresh Fruits? It was not Fresh Fruits. What? Hey, uh, this is mil- Still, still so, reeling. <laughs> so this is military equipment. Disguised as a civilian fruit truck. Do you know what that's called? What? That's called a war crime. Oh. You know what happens when you convince your enemy that things that look like civilian equipment may be military equipment? You, well, you get the CIA, basically. Yeah. Just investigating and being suspicious of every civilian, assuming that no one, like, is trustworthy. This That's not a good precedent to set. Is that you're going to go you're you're going to show up in civilian attire, so you should stop and investigate every civilian and figure out their motives. Oh, there's four of them. Yeah, it's just gonna mush these things in, just kinda and it'll just stay there. You know how uh you know how you can just mush things together and they stay in place, especially when they're on like a helicopter blade, which will be spinning thousands of times a minute. Man, like I'm just kind of imagining like, if he's describing this to people, like, what information is he giving them? Thumbs up. Like... We're all ready. We're all just sitting here waiting. We're all just sitting here doing nothing in our planes. Dangerous planes. Like, what information is he giving these people? Like, what is he telling them to do? And I'm just imagining how frazzled these people are. <laughs> trying to be like, how, what, like, how did, how did this, how does this work? My and idea like, is well, it, it would, you would connect the two things. You would you just put the blades into the quadcopter and it starts flying, dumbass. I don't know what's hard for like, what is the problem? Do you not know how a, how a helicopter works? It spins. It's so easy. I would I want to like get into the mind of whoever made this animation, whether it's to hear and shot himself. Or <laughs> that's his name. Yeah, that's his name. That inventions this is game. It is quite big. Yeah, we're ready. We've got we've got this fucking thing, this goddamn Nerf cannon of a weapon. Th this will be all manned. Oh wait, I thought it was just gonna be one man. No, you, it's two man. You have to hook this part up yourself, even though everything else is automated. Why wouldn't they just automate automate that too? The Hearing Shot has a fantasy world where you can automate anything you want, but you won't. <laughs> <laughs> just most of it. Just most. Let me just waggle this around, make sure that it's... It's, it's creating jobs. <laughs> <laughs> the hearing shot cares about the people. Sorry. The hearing shot fucking hates planes. You see all these planes? I hate them. How are we going to deal with them, the hearing shot? What are you going to do for us? How are you going to fix this planes problem we got? Well, first he's going to waggle them. You know how the angle of propellers doesn't need to be precise, and you can just kind of fuck around with them. Yeah, that's how I learned it in school. Yeah. If you didn't catch it, uh, there were two motorcycles in the back of the truck that they used to drive away. But presumably someone has to be controlling this. <laughs> <laughs> I like that guy's shirt that just says fly. I would wear that. <laughs> then he was like, aw, not anymore. <laughs> I have to put on my shirt that says can't fly. <laughs> Dehir and Shot Lord. Dehir and Shot destroys the countryside. 
He, whoa, he's blowing everything up. Everything gets destroyed. Everything blow up, blow it up for real. We live in a nice fantasy world where your giant gun can just shoot out things that will explode on impact. Doesn't have to be a specialty like grenade. You can just shoot it and it'll go flying super fast and then you can just blow them up. Oh, they've he, they've shot the anti-air missiles. So you know how he's going to deal with those? He's not going to. They just go away. Nice. Forget forget you saw it. He's you saw nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Gay, sir. There's something mesmerizing about this. Yeah, Just... it's kind of like a poem in a way. Okay, well, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a poem to me. <laughs> it is like something of devoid of poetry. This is poetry in the same way that George Lucas describing Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace is poetry. I love I love watching all the It's like poetry it rhymes. I love watching it. Stealth bombers, not anymore. We blowed them up. It's more like stealth bombed, because they explode. Fuck you. How many explosives can this thing hold? Uh about infinity. As many as you need. Boat. Anyway, let's blow up an aircraft carrier now. Are you fucking tired of blowing up an airfield? Well, what if instead it was on the water? Let's blow up boats. Let's blow up this little forklift. This is another one of those ones that has a very particular requirement. Or it's like, it has to time at least freshness. be... Time freshness. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the boys hanging out. Yeah, just perfectly line up all your shit. Pull off this tarp. Fuck you. That was the tarp the whole time? People would notice that. Impossible. The hearing what? shot. Man, you have to park really, like, precisely, huh? Yeah, and then back up straight. How did they get... Whoa, that's really... How would you line <laughs> that up? Also, those didn't really have fasteners. They just kind of plugged in. Uh... Y hey. Y yeah. This idea wouldn't work. Oh, really? <laughs> You're just noticing? I'm noticing that it probably wouldn't work. I don't know what that thing is. I guess it's a radar receiver. Again, you need to the guys to plug in the bullets. I hope it, by <laughs> the, it contains ammo. Don't don't be fooled. This is an ammo crate. These contain I don't know what is that. That that's red. Maybe maybe that's explained in if he does like a video where he talks where he talks over this or he paid someone to talk over it most likely. Hell yeah, brother. I guess every truck has to have two motorcycles. Quit looking at me, bitch. <laughs> I guess every truck has to have two motorcycles for the... Yep, there they go. Yeah. Squad, roll they out. With the motorcycle, I can't, I can't believe it. They have to. They have to have some way to, like, get away because they have to drive the truck there. But the middle one... But the middle one was just a tarp. It couldn't have motorcycles. That's so huge. Already starting shooting. I can't fucking wait. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Where is it? That it, I can see this. It's uh, on the coast. It's apparently one of the most precise guns ever created. It's blowing something up with every shot. Look at that thing spinning. Like, ev like, it misses maybe half the shots, which for this fucking thing is incredible for how far away it is. The fact that it's flying, wind just doesn't affect it. Well, that was efficient. It's so big. Bye. Oh, also, here's an alternate one. Here's bombs. Here's a second one we had built that we didn't show you that has missiles. Eh. Also, like, they're, I guess, heat-seeking? Or else guided missiles? Because <laughs> they're just going straight into the side of this thing. How do, how do they know? The here and shot. Don't build a boat. The here and shot thinks that we should stay off the water. That's why in the other boat, it has the thing where it lifts it off the water. You can only boat for so long. Also, here's a nice little missile battery for you. In case you, were, in case you did not get enough. In case those missiles that were just dumped out weren't enough. Well, here's a million tanks. I like that they're not wasting our time anymore. They're like, yeah, 
You get the idea. Yeah, you know, this, you thing, just, this thing can blow up anything. You just want to watch shit get blowed up, don't you, you fucking freak? I know you do. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so <laughs> stupid from far away. <laughs> we can't see it. It's only extremely visible. <laughs> the cinematic awesome. shot. Good lord. Incredible. I'm fucking, man. I'm so sweaty right now. I'm so excited. By the way, do you want to assassinate a drug cartel? What the fuck? Here's just a regular, like, guy who has a rich prick house. I can only assume that's what this is. Is this is for, like, a political assassination? Or, like, some sort of criminal underground assassination which is a weird thing to be advertising yeah it's like, like hey you want to you if you're a military and you want to destroy things you can use this if you're like pablo escobar and you need to destroy your like enemies propane tanks oh no they're the propellers yeah those yeah don't you <laughs> obviously I should, I should, oh shit i should know what they look like by the now. hearing shot is so self-explanatory i can't believe that you're having trouble with some of this everything's just so obvious like like, yeah, it, they make a quadcopter. There's so many moving parts. The point is that everything. it can fly. It would be so much easier if you if someone put this together themselves and it wasn't, like, a machine doing it. Oh, yeah, something we didn't really address is uh, how are the co quadcopters, like, flying? Like, what's powering them? And I guess he thought of that because this one gets a wire spool now. Sir, I, I can have the biggest batteries known to man. Sir, I can see a big fucking quadcopter in the distance. Eh, that's probably no big deal. It's probably fine. <laughs> Fuck your house. You think he Shooting bought? Shooting on civilians. Do you think he bought this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Quit doing that, man. It's so funny. You think that he bought these assets for the earthquake bed, the fully destructible home, and then he was like, "Oh shit, I could make use of that again." Building a cat-sized Lego train. <laughs> oh man, to hear and shot. We fucking hate you. Let's let's have one that's not military themed. I can't imagine why. The, um, the military ones are just so much stupider. They really are, honestly. It's like it like makes it so obvious that this is just a guy with like a heart on for the military. Let's see if who thinks that action movies are real. Oh man. This doesn't have audio. It doesn't have any audio. I clicked on it hoping that it would have an explanation because the name's in English, but unfortunately we got even less than that. Yeah, I think I think the whole thing we we saw the whole thing already. Fuck you. You've got more for me, I know you do. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm immediately amused. The preview looked really stupid. Okay, so what we've got here is something. I don't know what this is. What is I got this? him! I got him! I got him! Yeah! It looks like a wrestling rink. So this is like, I guess, a net for catching, like... Oh, this is him probably kissing up to SpaceX. This, oh. this is probably like, hey, you know how the, uh... You have to drop part of the, uh, missile, part of the rocket that gets you into space? Well, now you can catch them and reuse them with this dumbass net system. This wouldn't happen all you have to do is like figure out how to imp implement enough systems on the booster to let it straighten up perfectly and angle correctly with this dumb net you'd have to like have some sort of guided guiding system in there hey what if we saw it happen again hey what if we saw it happen again yep oh here's an alternate solution that's even dumber. Ooh. Yeah, you have to put a lot of, like... Like, okay, okay, challenge. Name a problem with this. Um, we already talked about the guiding missile thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the missile wouldn't stay upright. Those... That wouldn't stop it, it would just rip through them. What are these? Th what are these wires made of? Uh, there's no. Yeah, there's no. What are the wires made of that is holding this up, and also that can like withstand the tension of this heavy ass thing, and also not get burnt up by the uh, exhaust. 
Another question is, what is it using to guide? There's no explanation about, like, how they're tracking it. Maybe that's just built in also into the thing? Is it is its tracking system? Yeah, you have to have it, like, perfectly guide it to here. Be perfectly stri- Oh my god, what are you doing? What are you fucking doing? Oh no. New system for releasing rockets, too. Why? Why are you hold- What is the purpose? Why, what is the purpose of holding it like that until you release it? We- again, this is- I guess this is just- he's like, well, here's an alternate sol alternate use of it. What? It's not even the same thing, it has different things. It's- Oh, maybe it is the same. No, it is different. I think you're right. The, uh... I've heard the theory that the Heron Shot is just a patent troll company. They just- he just, uh, comes up with stupid ideas. Hoping that one of them gets used by another company so he can sue them. I like this road layout where all roads lead to dumb. <laughs> Just put it right in the middle. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him! Yeah! Triangle. Amazing. What a what an extremely brilliant system to hear Oh, this shot. one will probably work because it's triangle. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Triangles work. It really makes this thing look like- looks like it weighs, like, maybe 20 pounds. They really don't demonstrate the fact that these things are fucking heavy. They're very large. I don't think he knows that. Action shot. Oh, 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 he caught it. Something tells me that wires that have the tension to be able to hold up this heavy-ass object aren't able to also just kind of glide around to follow it. There was no, yeah, there's no way it could move that fast. Oh, Satan. El Diablo. Yeah, like, the... They really have this idea that, like, we need this... We, we, div we build this fucking contraption to catch our rockets. And it's designed so that advanced. it can... It's designed so that it can move around and catch a rocket. Because rockets aren't going to be stable. They're going to wiggle around. You can't predict a rocket to always land in the same place. But also, you have this area of, like, maybe 15 times the rocket's width that you assume it's going to land in. Look how much that thing was moving! You expect it to do that, but stay in this confined area? And not what just, like... What if it like, was just on the edge? You're fucked. You're fucked. Instead of previous things, where they would just kind of have the rocket, like, land in the ocean, or in some body of water so that it doesn't explode everywhere and that they can then go retrieve it. Um, what if instead you had it so that you had to catch it and if you failed to catch it, it will then explode? <laughs> Ooh, a d20. Oh boy. You can have to roll a fucking 20 to catch this thing, am I right, fellas? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. Man, this is made in ritual. I can't believe... I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it. How did we not come up with this before? It's the new It's the new way of the future. This is the new normal. This is the new normal. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up from a coma and this is around. <laughs> Good lord. Incredible. I can't believe... The Heron he Shot. Creating... Help us create the future. Help us create the future, please. All we need is about one billion dollars to try out this idea, and we will find out that it won't work, but I will have one billion dollars. Finally. I think if we showed, like, a physicist this, I think he would cry. I'm gonna cry, right now. Oh, we're gonna watch the house one? Extended version of the house one. Совместите домашний комфорт и свободу перемещения с помощью домов трансформеров. I'm gonna check if there's an English language version of this. Because... Yeah. Because, well, you know why. It's because I speak English. Oh, wait. I said you because, did? and then it occurred to me that, in fact, it's evident why I would... <gasps> I need house! What the fuck? Holy shit. It's only one minute long, but it's gotta be worth it, man. It's gotta be. 
What is this? What is this dinky little music? You have failed to push a button. Good job. Oh, the animation's not as good anymore. Maybe it's, this wasn't his favorite idea. What? Jacking off? <laughs> what is the room for? Why do you need an onion room? Why do you need to special custom Why do you order need an onion it room? Get it off the ground. Get in your little tent and go wild. Get cranking. Why is he up there? Go five feet off the ground. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that one was really good. Create the future with us. Hi, I'm Bangladeshi. I like your video. Good comment. I'm gonna Google Translate this. I want to look at some of the other comments. Social houses for the homeless, free overnight stay? Stay oh. in an inflatable house with no furniture. Finally, a solution for homelessness. Give them the worst homes. Oh, I love this. He's trying to be, like, progressive. He's trying to solve homelessness. Go, <laughs> go <laughs> live in an onion. House. <laughs> <laughs> go live in an onion like the fucking Baba Yaga. <laughs> Oh man, another tooth one is down there. Oh, I don't want to watch that. Okay. <laughs> Station for the soft landing of spaceships. Oh, another one of that. Oh, oh wait, no, it's the same, same one. Thing. It just has it has extra footage where a little thing comes in to catch it. Uh, let's see. Farmer, farmer's trick. I want to find one that's longer. You want to watch sixteen minutes of the of the tube? Yes. Yeah, you do. I have this like. Here in chat's automated system for delivering oh, it has, it has um, packages. Narration. This system is intended for satellite towns that are planned or under construction. This is for satellite towns. This is this is for company store towns, basically. Of underground channels, allowing a package to be delivered quickly, easily, and safely to any apartment or office in the town. Thank God. I kind of want some dinner. Can be used to well, you have to wait. You have to wait for it to be delivered by tube. To be and Do you want some and dinner? Also to yes, but I have to wait for the tube. Okay. The delivery we'll process dinner is after. fully automated, making it possible to reduce the quantity of manual labor employed and to dispense with a lot of paperwork. Finally, no paperwork. Each package passes through a distribution Again, you can say that. You can just say my system doesn't involve paperwork. Oh yeah, what does it do instead of paperwork? It just doesn't have it. Nothing. <laughs> paperwork is bad and it doesn't do anything, is what I've decided. From the center have to hand in a special card giving the recipient's address and the delivery time. The package is then loaded into oh, the delivery time? time? Why? The transport channel that leads to the recipient's home. What if you fucked up? What if you what if you were like, I tried to send you like a slice of pizza, but I set the delivery time for tomorrow, so now it's old and gross. System I guess you can do that with the regular mail too. If you just send any food, <laughs> or if you send them to the wrong address. Automatically. Each residential block in the town has its own underground channel, so the loads paths do not cross, and the risk of accidents or congestion is reduced to a minimum. <laughs> yep, there's no congestion. I can't imagine any congestion other than like send two packages in a row. Any empty container to return to the warehouse. Then the parcel is delivered to the package distribution. I guess system. you could have something like that if you planned a town. Mm. I don't think it would be good to do. Well, the thing is, if you but then if you ever need to expand the town, you'd have. To or if you need to like send a package out of town. And only in a few no, you wouldn't need to do that. Like, how often do you need to send a package to someone who lives in the same city as you? Like. <clears throat> Several times a day. Collect the parcel and send the empty container back down. So wait. saving time when it comes to receiving and sending parcels, the Hold on. You have to go to the center to send a package and you can receive it at your house. It also opens up new opportunities. Like there's a reason why you can send outgoing mail through your mailbox. Because it's convenient. For 
a better quality of life? How? It sounds implausible today, but the possibility <laughs> of sending and receiving parcels without leaving your own home will be an integral well, part of a comfortable life. You have to leave to the send the parcel. You There's no return system. Automated underground delivery technology at Dahir. Why didn't yeah, they just why, why didn't they just make like a, a just make it so you can request an empty one and then send it out from your own house? That you just like have stacks of empty ones. Maybe maybe you go to the store once and get the empty ones. Hey, I've just moved in. Can I get my empty boxes? Sure. And then you have to ask, and then you can get asked for more. Well, in that case, you wouldn't even need to return the empty one. You could just like. You can just keep it for next time. Yeah. I'm coming up with so many good ideas. This is like just like Tube City. This is just like Tube City. That's my idea. <laughs> this is the tubes. You you have a strange fondness for the tubes. I came up with this idea when I was younger. Uh, for everyone to travel through tubes. I forgot yeah. that it was for people. Yeah. <laughs> the, that is an idea on the level of Dahir and Shah. <laughs> you, you're very attached to the tube idea. <laughs> At no point have I heard you say, yeah, maybe it wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't work, but it would be cool if it, we lived in a world where it could. The thing is, is that for me to live in Tube World, I'd have to live in a world where ideas like those belonging to Dahir and Shot could happen. And I don't want to risk that. I don't want... Uh, hey, by the way, keep, I'm all... If we keep him out of the medical field, I don't think he could do too much damage. Oh, and, and the military. Yeah, he, well, actually, he would just make shoe kiosks. I don't think the military would exist in this world. Well, he'd also be in construction, and I don't trust that. He'd be making earthquake beds. He would be making earthquake beds. If you have to remember, in your tube world, you would be sleeping in an earthquake bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so keep those thoughts intertwined. Oh god. Keep that in perspective. I wouldn't live in California, so I wouldn't need an earthquake bed. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the only place where earthquakes happen in the world is California. Well, earthquakes don't happen everywhere. In everywhere. They don't happen in everywhere. No, okay, what, didn't, what, what are we what are we watching here? This is this is what Tube City could bring you. It could bring you a mall with the biggest fucking atrium in the world. Middle this area is, with nothing. There's no elevators. Hey, that looked really good. So I guess you have to go to the mall to go to the distribution center. Hey, what if you needed to build a new building? That's another like several million dollars to implement the tube system. What if we just never had new buildings? Oh, that solves it. If we need more if we need more places for people to live, they don't live in our city. We have to build a second satellite city. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what satellite city really means. It sounds like an electronic store. Sounds like Well, I probably shouldn't so not say the name of it. Cowboy Maloney's Electric City? Oh, I guess it's not really local. It's a it's a chain. It's a, it's, it's in multiple places. Yeah. It's like Cowboy, Cowboy Maloney's. Maloney's Electric City. Yeah. It reminds me of Scranton, the Electric City. You guys ever seen The Office? It's really cool. That's what I'm resorting to, referencing The Office while watching to Hear and Shot. How did the How did the How do we get wheels here? know? I to Hear and Shot just kind of is like all he thinks all, all men wheels, <laughs> all wheels are intelligent. He thinks all factory like like all factory equipment and technology is just psychic. Those boxes would crash the fuck into each other. That would never happen. You know, you know, you remember the scene in uh, Toy Story 2 where they were in like the giant conveyor belt place with all the luggage? Yeah. That's what Dahir and Shaw wants the world to be like. And I respect his vision as up until I was about 10 years old and then I was like, damn, airports seem like they suck. Oh, is this the repair section? Or are they building them? There's gotta be, like, repair. Extra parts. I, I think that- Imagine, uh, you two could- You two could live in a world designed by Dahir and Shot, looking at the- at the revolving luggage carousel forever. You could live there. You could see it, too. Alright, this one goes on for really fucking long. That's enough- that's enough of you. That's enough of you. Underground city. 
How to make two-layer aerated concrete blocks bigger, better, and cheaper. I am. I don't ever want to watch him talk about making concrete blocks ever again. I'm so tired of his fucking concrete. He loves concrete. Instant the, wooden buildings. The hear and shot wooden buildings. Oh, I think this might have been one in the video. We're pleased to present a oh, the logo is made of wood now. Construction technology from Dahir Inshad. I don't know if you Inshad. can call this a technology. Friendly and aesthetically pleasing construction material. I'm squirming about. Nowadays, wooden homes have become a luxury due to their high cost and the lack of a technology for building large multi-floor buildings. That's not why. We found a, a technology to build multi-floor buildings. How we have yet to discover the ability to build multi-floor buildings. The essence of our green home technology lies in the use of special organic wall panels. I think the problem, I think the actual reason why uh why like wooden homes aren't as common is probably because they are fucking expensive. Because building a home out of like MDF and plywood on the outside would look like shit and it would fall apart. <laughs> like I said earlier that I said something silly earlier about like homes don't get built out of wood anymore. Like they do, but you have to put like a severe finish on them. You can't just have it be like exposed wood. Yeah. I love ground insulation. I like those saws. They look really nice. Thanks to a special fucking hay bales. Flame retardant plaster layer, the straw is protected against rotting or burning. In the event of a fire, these plates not only will not burn, they'll actually prevent the fire from spreading. What? Cool. Straw is a virtually free He's decided. He said it himself. It's just like straw. It's just hay bales, but they put a layer of plaster over them. And to build four billion square meters of living space. So what? They're making this shit out of straw? Yeah, like you build a house out of, you know. Really? This is this is, this is literally a fairy tale. <laughs> literally, literally a fairy the tale. The three little pigs. Not to, not to do that. I built my house out of straw, and the big bad wolf came. But the big bad wolf was just like a slight breeze. Special stops. The future building's external walls. Special stops. This guy read Balconies, the three little piggies and, and was and like, that gives me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know what their problem was. They didn't add a layer of plaster. Sheets are placed on them, as well as steel rebar and hollow containers to reduce the weight of the flooring. The hollow containers? To build one floor is two to three days, which is significantly faster than building the traditional way. The traditional way. Yeah, you can, again, you can say that. I've decided it would be faster to do it my way. In earthquake prone regions, while adhering to the principle of free floor plans within the apartments. All the advantages of wood as a construction material combined with the low cost and high construction mm. speed make I'm just baffled. The advantages of wood of, as a construction material. We have those advantages. That's why we put wood in the walls. Th there's a reason we don't also put wood on the outside of every house. It's because it's expensive or else it doesn't work. We should go to his website. We should go to prison. Yeah. We should go to a prison and tell them, hey, we can make you expand your prison for super cheap. All you have to do is just build make, it out of straw. Make the walls out of straw. Put hay bales in your walls. If the prisoners tried to dig a hole, they'll find straw and they'll think they've dug into the grass. And they'll think, oh shit, I can't get out. There's hay everywhere. I found Imagine the stables. Imagine punching through the wall and you get to straw. Well, th this is made of wood. You very difficult to punch through. I could do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not like drywall, which is designed to be easily like fixable and replaceable. It's uh, it's wood. So um. What if this breaks? If if someone uh like knocks over a piece of furniture and it dents the wall, you just kind of have to leave it there forever, or else replace your entire wall panel. What is the point of this part? It's given the wood a little brushy. I like these wheels. These wheels are pleasing to look at. So I genuinely, <laughs> I genuinely did just get distracted looking at the wheels. I, I was too. <laughs> oh, um, this one's 18 minutes long. In which, again, classic. It's the machine that kills you. 
Go on. Go ahead, go ahead. <gasps> Rotate! Please! I want you to kill me! Whoosh! Yeah, if you were there, you're just fucking yeah, gone. Yeah, you, you just become- you just become putty. Let's skip to the most replayed segment. Here's a shitty little balcony. It looks great. Yeah, they didn't point out how the wooden houses- the wooden- these wooden buildings all look like ass. Yeah, they look bad. Maybe we'll see the return of vinyl siding. I mean, it never really went away, but maybe we'll see a real return. Or aluminum siding. Ooh. Yeah, I've about- I've about had it with- with that. You don't like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to that. So I won't. Oh, sorry. Um, urgent architectural assistance. This one's drawing. Like, see, that makes- that makes me think that it's not his art that he's making. Yeah, he definitely paid so, like, he couldn't get his regular 3D guy, so he had to pay a 2D guy. I would love to know the company that works on these videos. <laughs> and hire them to, like... I, I would hire them to interview them. I would hire them to, uh... Animate my life. Digital photo manager? That one has people in it. I don't want to show that one. I want to show one that has, like, actual footage of people. Because we're here to make fun of people. What is, what is this guy down here with the orange things? I think that's footage of an actual, like, factory robot. Oh, this is where he gets his ideas. Yeah, he went and saw a factory somewhere, and he was like, Yo, cool. What the fuck is this? Yo, what is this? What? It's the fucking summoning circle. <laughs> I'm getting my fucking the fleet out. The entourage has to get together. The tower. The hearing shot has a philosopher's stone. Wait, what is this? <laughs> what is happening? Is this his way of like... Is this a technology he came up with for designing cities? Where like, he you can put this layout down to perfectly exactly follow it? We don't need this anymore, we have GPS. What? Those are for your hydroponics farms, I think. I don't know what, what the technology. Look like? I don't know what the technology is. I don't know what he's like. Like what is this? What's projecting these images? Is it just the tower? Is the tower just blasting this out? Did he invent the projector? Is this, what, like is this just like an example? This, oh, that's all of them together. This is the city of the future. Wait, what is it? translate that that uh, Google translate that phrase? Oh my god, he's got so many fu- He lists everything he's ever designed in the description for SEO. Designed, quote-unquote. Laser beam marking technology. So oh. it is just for, like, putting a stencil of your- of your shitty city. Dot com. Shitty city dot com. A method for extremely precise dental treatment and a portable dental unit. No! Full automation wall panel production facility. I'm not, I'm choosing- I can't watch any more wall panels. Yeah, I'm choosing not to watch any more of his goddamn, like, wall construction ones anymore. What's his oldest one? His oldest one is, like, the self-constructing houses. And there's the cholesterol one. Cholesterol. And then he's got a bunch of footage of him just going to, like, look at- Factory equipment, and he's like, damn, I could do that. Easy. He's got two different versions of the shitty little thing drive around, kill people. I hate that shitty little thing. Drive around, kill people. There is no way we've seen all of them. He's got, he's got so many good ideas. He needs to be going to Congress with some of these. He needs to be going to Congress, like, 
brought to trial in front of Congress. Man. You want to, like... I don't know if there's any more. Do you want to, like, take a break and then come back and play something? Sure. I just want to... I want us to order food if we're going to order it. Okay. Or, or figure out what we're going to eat. All right. I will... Let's design a BRB screen. While oh, together! That. Uh, What would you like to be on... What would you like to be our B? <clears throat> Um, I want there to be an animal in it. Yeah. Well, let's start with our fish. Let's put fish. Thank you. Okay, I guess we gotta update Firefox. Hold on, let me... Real quick. Let me make sure that that window capture doesn't stick around, because I don't want to accidentally capture Firefox sometime. Whoa, that was weird. It does that sometimes. Um, no oh, copy. Huh? That's an animal. Copy? Oh, copy. Oh, copy. O-K-A-P-I. I, I wrote that. You can see oh, it. I didn't see. See better. I'm sorry! Buy a fox. I don't think we can... The thing... I like this song. I don't know if we can use it anymore because, um... I keep getting copyright claimed for it, even though this is like, it's a song in the public domain that I did a cover of. How do you like this thing? He's okay. Oh, you don't like him? Come on, man. He's got a big tongue. Anyway, why are we looking at that? We'll do this later. <laughs> okay. Uh, what were we gonna do? We were doing a VRV screen. Okay. And I said I wanted an animal on it, and yeah, I mentioned the Okapi. We'll do this later. Okay. Because it involves more. I have to, I would have to find a song, and I don't want to do that right now. You can write us a song. Later. We're discussing it later. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do now? I wanted to BRB. Okay, well, BRB. Let me put up a thing on the screen. Nope, that's not how you spell that. Let me find a, <clears throat> a really good font. Let's see. Small fonts. I love small fonts. Make it small. Then make it uh, fit to screen. Oh, it literally is not visible. It's so small. It's so little. It's impossible small. Uh, do I have fixed this on here? I do have fixed this. I wanted fix this Excelsior, actually, but... This will have to do. Oh, I think this type of font is not supported. It has to be like TTF or some shit. Oh. Everyone love me font. Um, sure. Sure, so go UI. Oh, that looks really good. <laughs> I like that. We're not leaving it like that. Oh, man. It looks bad. Okay. That still looks bad. Good lord. What do you want from me? Uh, 288. There we go, that's less bad. You do whatever you were gonna do. Actually, let me... Come on, man. That's weird. Well, the fucking thing just went out, so let me... Let's just stop, and then we can start again if we want to do it more. <laughs> 